Before we begin the video, please subscribe and hit the button bell for you to get notified when we have new exciting videos to watch. The idea of painting sounded crazy. I thought I'd lost my mind. I didn't know of any blind painters. My brain knew how to draw and my hands knew how to draw, but the eyes, the connection between the two was lost. So I was having to relearn a new way of understanding what was on the canvas by, by touch. I've had Hi, I'm epilepsy from the time that I was really little. And then later on, I ended up getting Lyme's disease. And they think it was the interaction between those two. I was having severe seizures. And my neurologist said it was like getting hit on the back of the head with a bat over and over and over. And it caused some brain damage where I lost a little bit of my hearing and, and all of my vision. Art was my way of dealing with that. You know, it's what kept me sane. And then whenever I was a student at university and I lost my eyesight, I couldn't do art. And I became so angry and so depressed. I had completely given up on myself. You have this idea of these hopes and these dreams for the future. And I, I thought all that was gone. But whenever you lose your eyesight, you start learning different ways to, to live in the world. Like I started learning how to use my sense of touch to, to navigate, get to school. And I started thinking, well, if I can get to school, then surely I can get across a canvas. And even the first shows that I did, I didn't tell people that I was blind because I didn't want them to think about vision or th think about me at all. I just wanted them to look at the artwork. Art isn't about vision. It's about expressing you know, your ideas, your emotions, and having other people understand that. Whenever my son was born nine, nine years ago, my paintings exploded with color. When I see the paintings, even to this day, I'm, I'm amazed at what he can do. He's persevered through a lot of different obstacles. Teaching art is one of the things that I love, and every workshop that I do is completely free. You know, so if somebody wants to paint, I want, I want them to paint too. I want you to learn how to do this. I changed the way the colors feel. I mix different mediums and with the color. I'm like finding the lines, you know, I don't know if I'm inside them. The main thing about drawing though is that I just have to be able to feel it, whether it's a raised line or like a glossy line and a really rough surface that it's on. A sighted person would be able to tell that um, a titanium is white by seeing the white color. Me, I, I make it feel like toothpaste. You got a whole other career in front I'm of you. nowhere near <laughs> as good as this guy. Nowhere near. I did a mural about a month ago in New York and there was this big wall and I, I didn't realize, but I was the first blind person to do a street art mural. So hopefully this idea of a non-visual visual artist, which sounds like an oxymoron, it'll be a thing in the past one day. It'll be like, oh yeah, art, art is for everyone. Art's just part of the human condition. Please subscribe and hit the button bell.